Hello, I'm Ponchi, and this video is going to show you how to update your firmware. Initially, when you purchased your printer, you most likely came to punchdeck.com and downloaded this file. This is an installation file that installs everything under this list. And one of the items is the firmware. And the firmware is the software that lives on the printer and makes the printer run. Now, there's another thing called Adreno. And the Adreno software is just software that allows us to upload the firmware onto the printer. As firmware updates are available, they will be posted on this site. Now, going back to this installation, when you install this, it creates a folder on your PC. And you can get to that folder by going to the Start menu, All Programs, and look for punch tech and inside of there there's going to be another folder called ordbot click on that and that's going to open up a new window the next thing you'll want to do is double click on the folder firmware and double click on marlin double click on marlin and then scroll down until you find the file marlin.ino and then double click on that. Next go to Tools, Board, and make sure that the board is set to Adreno Mega 2560 or Mega ADK. Go back up to Tools, Serial Port, and this is the port that your computer uses to communicate with the printer. In my case it's on COM2. You need to have both of those settings correct before you can successfully update the firmware on the printer. Make sure that the printer is plugged in and powered on and that you have a USB cable connected from the PC to the printer. Now we're all ready to upload the firmware to the printer. So the arrow right, this button here, is used to uh, upload the firmware. So click on that and you'll notice that it's first going to compile the sketch and then it will upload it once it's done compiling it. So I'm going to take a break here. That's going to take about 20-30 uh, seconds. Now you'll notice that it's actually uploading the firmware. And this will take a few moments and then it'll say uh, done uploading. When the status message says done uploading, we're all done. The new firmware is uploaded onto the printer and you can close this box out and go about printing. If for some reason when you double clicked on marlin.ino it did not open up the Adreno software, it's because Windows has not created an association between INO files and Adreno. And I'm going to show you how to work around that. Navigate back to the firmware directory. Double click on Arduino and then double click on Arduino.exe. This will start the Arduino software. You'll do everything the same, setting up the board and the serial port, but this time we're going to go to File and Open to open up that Marlin.ino file. You may have to navigate to get to it, but we can double click on it and it will load it up in a new window and then just click on the upload arrow button. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and enjoy your printing.